So it might be in your best interest to say what's on your mind if they are asking you for advice. If they come to you and they never ask, what do you think I should do? Then hold back. But if they actually ask and you feel like they're heading down the wrong path, you definitely need to, you know, speak up because they're coming to you for a reason, okay? And a lot of you have a strong sense of intuition and you always want to be very supportive and emotionally available to whoever it is that you consider friends, family, whoever it is, actually. You want to lend an ear to them. But I do sense in this situation, uh, support is not enough. Honesty, truthfulness, and especially telling somebody that they're doing the wrong thing or telling somebody that you think they're headed down the wrong path it's actually quite important this month, okay? So try to say what you need to say and they're coming to you obviously for good reason. Let's talk about your financial situation. We do have the Ten of Pentacles here as well as the Hermit. So the Ten of Pentacles is a situation that deals with generational wealth, okay? This is wealth that is accumulated, built up over time and we do have the Hermit associated with it as well. The Hermit indicates like um, spiritual guidance. It also indicates withdrawing, drawing back your energy, moving within to look for answers. A lot of you might be going through a um, type of some type of a turning point in your professional life. So I feel like if you have been staying at a job for a very, very long time, you might be rethinking, you know, like what is the next phase of my career that I should take? And also you might be thinking about taking a total, making a total, total career change altogether or taking a sabbatical possibly for three months, three years in order to figure out, in order to do some soul searching. So I feel like at this point financially you are very established. And for those of you, especially with a lot of resources, with a lot of assets, with a lot of like financial stability, you can afford to take a sabbatical and you're thinking about the next phase in your career. You feel almost as if I am at this job. I have been at this job for a while. I'm not learning anymore. So I am uh, capping out in terms of my growth and my potential for advancement. So I need to look into another avenue. And I don't feel that you're doing it to secure more financial abundance. I feel like you might be doing it mainly because you want to expand and you want to learn and you want to know what else is out there for you. So I feel like current job situations might not be bringing emotional fulfillment anymore. And you're looking more for opportunities where you don't have to work hard. You would rather work smart and you would rather have a lot more like leisure time to spend with families and people that are important to you. Okay. So finances look very good. And I do sense as well, if it hasn't been um, stable for the past, if it hasn't been stable for the past three years, it is going to solidify for this month. If it hasn't been stable for the past three weeks or three months, I would say more three months it's on its way up to being rebuilt, okay? So you're rebuilding your financial future. And either way, finances looks to be very promising this month. Yep. So in terms of your public image, and Capricorn got the same message, we do have the Six of Wands as well as the Two of Cups. So first of all, in terms of your professional life, there is a new contract that is being signed, okay? So a lot of you might be shifting from one job to the next. There is a new contract being drawn up and there is also, I, I'm getting like going away parties for you or another person in your work environment. There's some type of a going away, celebrating somebody's achievements and feeling as if you're really in the spotlight and you're getting the accolades and the recognitions, okay? So for others of you, where this pertains to friendships and things like that, I do feel that you are getting invited to some type of a friendship function where people might be complimenting you and they're telling you, you know, thank you for being a friend all of these years. So you're getting very, very positive reception from other people based on choices, decisions, and, you know, your own sense of uh, reliability as a worker, as a friend, as even as a lover, okay? In terms of your relationship aspect, I definitely a lot see a lot of smoothing out. I do feel that there's this element here about having a very strong soul connection with another person. Like I mentioned earlier, I feel like somebody, I, I feel like you're looking at for some information on another person. Someone is really catching your eye and I feel like this person is in the public environment and they're, they're very accomplished in their field. And I also feel as if 
they have a lot of suitors and you're trying to figure out, is this person single and available? Can I really make a move on them? Will they make a move on me? So I feel some back and forth going on and I feel like that might be why you're doing some research to find out whether or not they are single. So I, I definitely feel there is somebody catching your eye. They seem to me to be a little bit like larger than life in your eyes. So you're already romanticizing this situation and you're trying to figure out if they are single and available so that you can know how to approach them. So you're dealing with someone who has a lot of suitors, okay? In terms of communication, we do have the Five of Swords as well as the Seven of Swords. Um, the Seven of Swords indicates some type of sneaky behavior. The Five of Swords indicate an empty victory. So both of these things can spell out, you know, in conjunction with one another, can spell out problems, okay? So first of all, what I'm inclined to say here is that be very, very careful about snooping around, running around, doing things that you're not supposed to because I do feel somebody is looking on. They might not call you out on it, but they already it has already like tainted their image of whatever it is that you're doing. Just be very mindful about that. Additionally, sneaky behavior on your part or the other party's um, part, it is going to be brought to light and it's telling me basically whatever sneakiness is happening behind the scenes that have been whatever secrets have been withheld they are being exposed and brought out into the open and what it's also saying as well is don't so for example if you're being called out on something and other people are are there it seems like there's a spectacle being had here it's saying to, you know, don't try to fight it because it is going to end up in an empty victory. So if you've done something wrong, fess up. If someone has done something wrong to you, they're not going to to have a field day of it, meaning they're going to be caught and found out. And other people might even look on this situation and ostracize them, okay? So I feel some wrongs being rectified, some rights being um, being celebrated, okay? So a situation where it's a win, it's a, it's not a win-win situation. So don't get involved in verbal back and forth, bickering and things like that. It's not going to end well. I do sense this deals more with communication than anything. So I feel like some event has happened in the past and some words are still being um, strewn about between you and another party. And I feel almost as if both parties are itching for a fight, which doesn't bode well because I feel like it's an empty victory either way. So let it go. Um, turn your back on it. It's funny, Aquarius got the same types of energy, but either way, I don't feel that it's going to bode well for you to dig up anything or to, you know, kick up a fuss or anything like that. Rely on your friends. And I feel it's almost like your friends will really stand up for you. And then this will reveal to you who your friends truly are. Okay. This will reveal to you a lot about people, human nature, who your friends are, who you can trust and things like that. And who likewise will trust you in the future. So I do sense for a lot of you, by the end of this month, you are transitioning from uh, one phase of your life into the next, okay? So what I'm sensing here, we have the Six of Pentacles and the Six of Swords. And both of these sixes coming out together, the Six of Pentacles is what I normally attribute to the Karma card. This is car good karma, though. The Five of Pentacles is more like the, the more difficult karma card that you have to deal with. The Six of Pentacles is usually a financial windfall that is coming into you, in for you, in order to help you travel, in order to help you transition from one phase of your life to the next. This can come in grants, handouts, lottery wins. It's just a, a, a huge sum of money coming through. It can be a loans coming through a financial institution as well. It could be student loans, grants, scholarships. Um, however, you this applies to you. I do feel financial windfall coming through as a result of good deeds that were done or as a result of you working diligently, okay? So things that you're doing are being noticed by other people. So make sure you're on the up and up and make sure that you're able to um, live up to other people's expectation, expectations. So there's something here about a public image that you need to preserve. So make sure you act uh, correctly, okay? What I'm also feeling is for a lot of you, <clears throat> if there has been uh, financial hardships, like I mentioned earlier with the past three years and the past three months, you are sailing on 
from financial hardships. You're coming into a place where there's a lot of financial abundance around the river for you. Okay, so a lot of you might be uh, worried about how you're going to make ends meet and you're going to possibly land a new job or even transition into a new position, a, a higher paying position as well. So whatever you've been doing in the past, I feel like Car good karma is being sent forth back to you to help you come along. I don't sense any troubles associated with this. It's not the five of pentacles where it deals with negative karma. All right. Now, in terms of your advice here, we do have the princess. So this is more like the page of pentacles, the eight of swords and the lovers. So let's look at this. So what's happening here is I feel some job offers for sure coming through for you and I feel that you're not really making a choice so you might need another person to bounce your ideas off of okay so a lot of you it might be multiple job options on the table that will allow you to transition from financial instability to financial stability and security and as a result of it you're just like this is a very very major change in my life I don't know which direction to take all these choices are um inundating me so what should I do and I feel like you might need to bounce ideas off of a friend okay so friends and um, close group associates even people you work you live with even people that are affected as a result of this new employment opportunities those are the people that would be in your best interest to talk to because they can give you some guidance okay so I feel like some hesitation trepidation fear anxieties coming in from your end about what you need to do what I'm also feeling as well is it's a major choice that's going to really affect the trajectory of your life for the next three years I'm feeling so this is not a decision that you can make light and I feel like a lot of you know that and a lot of you really take your time to ponder the ins and out pros and cons of every major decision anyway so you're not going to take this lightly what I do sense is the thing here is um, because you're a water sign and water signs tend to operate from the heart you go with that heart choice you go with something that really pulls at your heartstrings okay and what I feel is this might have been something you've done in the past where you pursue things with your heart and when they didn't fall through or they didn't pan out the way that you'd hope I feel like you're not really trusting your heart anymore and my advice here is actually I feel that you might have to take the practical route. Whatever it is, go for the one that is um, going to provide a little bit more of practicality for you. So, for example, if you got a big family, right? And if you have a, like children, if you have a big family, if you have like many uh, young children, and you're offered two jobs, and one job pays a lot, but it has no health insurance, and the other job pays less, but it has health insurance. The practical choice is to go with the one with the health insurance, okay? So this is something that is serving as an example, but I feel like it might be relevant for a lot of you. So go with these practical decisions, okay? Think about it like in terms of practicality, what you need to do, because I have here the Princess of Pentacles as the advice. This means emerging and finally starting to take steps towards the practical life decisions. We also have the Eight of Swords, and the Eight of Swords deal with the air suit, which deals with strategy, which deals with mental energy. So I feel like these are the things that you're going to have to incorporate in your decision-making process, okay, with the lovers here. This is choices. So go with the practical route, go with the rational choices, and it might be good for you to... Um, put your feelings on the back burner when you're making these types of decisions, rational decisions for rational solutions, okay? On the other hand, if it pertains to love and relationships, I do feel you might have a, a an earth sign in the picture for you, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Somebody is a little bit younger. It seems to me like it's somebody who is younger than you. It seems like it's somebody who is new as well. And you're very scared about entering new relationships, I feel. Um, so I'm going to do the love reading next and hopefully we'll, we'll find out what's going on here. But I definitely sense that coming through. Let me see if there is something else here. I feel like for a lot of you, you might have a new romantic prospect. They might have children. And you might be a little bit younger, so you might not have dealt with somebody with children before. And you're not really sure what you want to do. I feel like there is strong physical, emotional connection 
but you're not really sure what you what way to to go and you know what you want to do so let's do your love reading and see what's going on for you so this is love reading for Pisces Pisces July 2016 Pisces July 2016 Pisces love and relationship July 2016 Okay What's going on for Pisces July 2016 love and relationships going to pull out one more card for the five of pentacles here because this is a karma card okay so at the heart of the reading here we do have the ten of cups and the ten of cups is basically the com uh, completion of an emotional situation so a lot of you might have gone through some type of an emotional roller coaster as it pertains to a separation or a divorce okay and I do feel that this situation has been very very tenuous so this could be child custody issues um, alimony issues as well as just severing ties with another person. So I feel like if you have been dealing with this emotional roller coaster pertaining to some type of a long-standing divorce situation, it is over and you're sailing away to um, smoother waters. And I feel as well, a lot of you, there's some money that is coming at the end of it. Not that, you know, severing a relationship, you expect any money from it, but I do send some type of a rectification when it comes to uh, financial imbalances in the relationship okay others of you you have ended a long-standing karmic relationship it is done and over with and you need to move on um, I don't feel there's any way back towards this situation but being a water sign that you are you are looking back at this and you're not seeing it in realistic focus a lot of you are missing somebody from your past and a lot of you are just like what if but I feel like this is a kind of like a rose tinted glasses you're looking at the globe in your hand and you're not looking at the past which is like laden with a lot of conflict imbalances and also just a lot of um, keeping scores okay so looking at this situation realistically and not through some type of a filter lens or some type of like nostalgia for the past is going to be very important for you. I do see you missing somebody, yearning for something from the past, okay? Yearning for good times and some type of a coming together of a family unit situation. Um, going back to the message I mentioned earlier about a lot of you, um, I feel like new jobs are coming through as well. And for a lot of you, you might have to decide with a romantic partner which direction to take. So, for example, you might be offered multiple jobs and they want to stay here. You want to move further away. So there's some type of a um, compromise back and forth. If it seems to me like your partner might want to stay put and you want to go. Um, I feel that you both need to be. Well, I, I feel like you might want to compromise with your partner and you might want to downplay how badly it is that you want to go. So the point here is to have an open and honest discussion, but I feel like a lot of you are very emotionally supportive of your hus your your significant other. So you might downplay your needs in order to cater to their needs. And I feel like this might have been an ongoing problem in the past where the relationship might seem a little bit imbalanced to me. One person doing a lot of the compromise and the other person not being aware of it. So it's important for you to make your partner aware of it. Tell them, you know, this is something that I really want to do. It's going to help jumpstart my career. So can we work around this? And I do feel there is going to be a favorable resolution to be had, okay? For others of you who are um, single and dating, so I so for for coupled people I do see some major transformation happening a lot of you might have ended a relationship and are now single and dating okay and you're kind of feeling out of your element so if you're newly single you might be feeling out of your element for right now 
for others of you who have worked through some trials and tribulations in a relationship and you're coming together stronger than ever, what I do sense is there's still that maintenance of the compromise between you and the other person. Give and take, balancing that out. And I feel like for a lot of you, you might be involved with a fire sign who is very spirited and a lot of the times... Um, when they're passionate about something, they, they get you really riled up. And I feel like they're actually very willing to compromise. They're just very easily excitable. So don't feel as if you are going to be coerced into doing something. You, you need to voice your opinion. So I feel like a lot of you who are in a relationship or are dating a fire sign, um, Sagittarius, Leo, Aries, you might put your needs on the back burner to cater to theirs. And they're not aware that this is something you might not want to do. So you have to voice your opinion. You have to like, you know, bring things out in the open. Okay. For newly singles, like I said, you might be feeling a little bit out of your element in the dating front. You might have gotten involved with like a fire sign. You might have had a one night stand with them and you're missing them and you're wondering what exactly happened? Why aren't they contacting me? And I feel like you're replaying the events over and over in your head and you're trying to figure out and you're trying to make sense of it. Like, did they, was that just a one night stand? Did they specify what is it they're looking for? So you're replaying some type of event over and over again in your head. If you are dating a fire sign, okay, there is some secrets, some um, information not being revealed if you are newly dating a fire sign. So once again, Sagittarius, Aries, and Leo. I do sense that they might be in another relationship. They might be, they might have family issues. They might have court divorce, legal issues. That's not finalized just yet. So I feel like they might have uh, stepped away or stepped back from you in order to fix something in their life. Okay. So I, I definitely sense um, there is something waiting. You're waiting on something. They're waiting on something. So something is being held up and it's not allowing the relationship to move forward. Okay. In terms of your emotions, emotional state though, singles and couple, you're in a very good frame of mind right now. I feel a lot of you are, are breathing like a sigh of relief because I feel like new energy is coming through for you as well. The moon card is the card representative of Pisces in the major arcana. And it usually indicates like psychic abilities as well. This is what it's seeing here. And usually you are involved with somebody who is very, very polarly different from you. So, you know, it would explain the fire energy and you're a water sign, they're a fire sign, so communication needs to be very, very, um, very direct, and it needs to, everything needs to be brought out into the light, okay? I do sense a very strong connection, like emotional connection between two people, where they care about you, and you care about them, and you're trying to do the right thing by each other, so I don't see deception so much, but I do see something hidden, something that they're trying to get resolved, and I'm also feeling like uh, you might have some inf So I mentioned, you know, a lot of you are doing some digging. So you might have dig up some information about this person. And you might have like, um, you, you, you might be revealing this information um, as a last resort. And don't do that. I, I don't feel that it's going to be good for you to do that, okay? Whatever secrets you, you've dug up about another person, just... Um, Try to be open and honest honest uh, for this month, Pisces. Try to be open and honest. I feel like whatever information you've dug up about your crush or whatever it is, I feel like um, they're hiding it mainly because they might be a little bit embarrassed. So be very sensitive to that, okay? If you're dealing with a fire sign specifically, so Sagittarius, Aries, and Leo, they have very, very strong pride. And um, if the secret is delivered the wrong way, they might really take great offense and it might really hurt their ego and they they can become combative 